If you've driven one of Volvo's new 90 series cars, the V90 Cross Country should feel immediately familiar really, the Cross Country is a mix between the regular V90 wagon and the XC90 SUV, with some of its own personality and hardware it's also possibly the best car Volvo has on sale currently it's not just that the V90 Cross Country combines various elements of the V90 and XC90 it combines them in such an appealing way, creating a great all-rounder you get the practicality of the V90, with even more off-road capability than the XC90, and the same fantastic interior found in both. The only thing you might miss from the XC90 is third row seating sadly, Volvo doesn't offer rear-facing jump seats in the US, the V90 Cross Country is offered with one powertrain a 316 horsepower version of Volvo's now familiar turbo and supercharged 4-cylinder the only transmission choice is an Eisen 8-speed automatic, and all Cross Countries get all-wheel drive as standard, unlike all the other models in Volvo's 90 series as in the XC90 T6 and S90 T6, this 4-cylinder offers ample torque and minimal lag courtesy of a supercharger that's designed to provide low-end grunt. This motor is remarkably quiet and refined for a four-cylinder, and pairs well with the Eisen-sourced gearbox you might think this sort of car demands a six-cylinder, but this remarkable little four-cylinder is more than adequate safe for some dark walnut wood trim. The V90 Cross Country's interior is identical to the regular S90 per Volt 90 that's a good thing, because Volvo's 90 series interiors are currently among the best in the business the seats are comfortable and supportive in all the right ways and the build quality is excellent. You can opt for a $4,500 luxury package that brings massage seats among other interior niceties, but even with no options, the Cross Country's interior is plush this plush but not pillowy ride suits the rest of the V90 Cross Country's character really well I always thought the XC90 and S90 were harsher than they needed to be, given that they're not sporty, and the Cross Country addresses this.